Hello students, I hope all of you are well. So let's start the class. Today I am going to start the first chapter of class 6 which is computer system. First, let me give a introduction of a computer system. A computer is a machine that has become an integral part of our regular lives and computers are widely used in homes, office, banks, airports, hospitals, etc. Nowadays, we can't even think of our life without a computer or a laptop. This is a block diagram of a computer system. As you can see, it consists of five parts. Let me start with input device. What is an input device? Mouse, keyboard, these all are input device. By using input device, we can put an input in our machine. The next part is a processor. Processor means the brain of the computer which processes everything. The third part is main memory. Main memory is also known as primary memory. And the fourth one is auxiliary storage. It's also known as secondary storage or secondary memory for example hard disk pen drive flash drive these all are secondary memory or auxiliary storage and what is the example of main memory ram rom these are comes under main memory or primary memory and the fifth one is a output device output device means a monitor, a monitor screen is an output device. So this is a block diagram of a computer system and working of a computer system. First, we'll start with various type of input devices. So let me tell you what is an input device first. Some of the devices which are used to enter data into a computer are known as input devices. Now, I'll let you know various kind of input devices and how they are working. First, let me start with a very commonly used input device, keyboard. We all know what is a keyboard. Uh, I believe all of the students have seen keyboard in our school computer lab. So let me tell you uh, the parts, various parts of a keyboard. Keyboard consists of numeric keys like 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. It has alphabets like A, B, C, D. It has some special function keys like F1, F2, F3 and so on and it has some special character too like dollar sign, hashtag, tilde sign and so on. And when we press a key in a keyboard, the code of the key is sent to the CPU in binary form. Our next input device is mouse. Mouse is basically a pointing device. By using mouse, we can point something in our laptop or computer. Basically, there are two kinds of mouse are present. First one is the optical mouse and the second one is the wireless mouse. What is the optical mouse? The mouse with the wires is called an optical mouse and it has a red light, red light under it. 
okay and what is a wireless mouse wireless mouse means it does not have any wire and it uses signals like tv remote ac remote at our home we are using our tv remote ac remote and they does not have any wires right so they are wireless device so nowadays in market you will be able to see wireless mouse which uses signals like tv remotes or ac remotes the next input device is joystick a joystick is an input device consisting of a stick that is attached to a base and basically where we are using joystick in case of playing games we are using joystick we can use joystick like uh, the pilots are also using joystick for controlling purpose of the plane okay so basically joystick also a input device and uh, it used for playing games and pilots are also using joystick while controlling the planes the next one is a light pen light pen is also a input device and it looks like a normal pen that we are using the light pen touches the screen and the detector identifies the location of the pen on the screen and its work accordingly our next input device is graphic tablet the short form of tablet is tab that we are using nowadays basically graphic tablets are used to draw images or pictures on the computer screen by using tablet we can draw a image we can draw a picture on the computer screen and it uses a device called stylus stylus means it's look like a pen by using that pen or stylus we are able to draw the image or picture on the computer screen now let me tell you few important thing about computer do you know that typewriter is the longest word that can be made using the letters on the first english alphabet row of the keyboard please try it and let me know the second important thing is the computer mouse was first invented by douglas engelbart in 1964 and do you know that it was made of wood with metal wheels and the third important thing is joystick were originally used by pilots as part of an aeroplane's controls there are three important points that you should remember okay the next input device is scanner scanner means scanner is a input device in which we can scan any document nowadays with the printer scanner is coming in built if you purchase any printer the scanners are in built with it but we can purchase scanner scanner is a individual device also so a scanner is a device that is used for converting printed documents or photos into a electronic format right we can scan any document and we can make it as a pdf so there are two type of scanners are present one is flat bed scanner and the uh, second one is handheld scanner flat bed scanner means the picture in the left hand side that you can see it's a flat bed scanner and handheld scanner means by using hand like it's very handy or portable uh handheld scanner are very handy and portable okay so there are two two, two kind of scanners are present flat bed scanner and handheld scanner so we read various kind of input devices and how they are working